Hey YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark, Nuts for Art, and I'm going to read more of our book, Poison Power by John Goffman, Dr. John Goffman and Dr. Arthur Tamplin. And I'm going to try to keep it, or try, oh my gosh, that's one of those words, if you know me personally, I hate that word, try. Don't tell me you're going to try something, that means you're going to fail, you're not going to do it. So I... I eliminate that word from my vocabulary. I apologize for using it. It's like a cuss word to me. Try. It's like, err. Anyways, um, thought I'd share that with you. Um, I'm going to keep these videos to three minutes to five minutes. No more than five minutes. I was looking at the analytics. Most people don't watch more than really three and a half minutes. So I'm going to make an effort to keep this short, okay? So this is chapter one on poison power. And it is called Nuclear Reactors to Generate Electricity. The fundamental difference between a nuclear reactor power plant and a conventional power plant is the fuel that is employed. The conventional plant burns coal, oil, or gas to create the heat, while the present nuclear plants burn uranium. Burning one ounce of uranium has roughly the same potential as burning 100 tons of coal. Oh my gosh. A ton of reactor fuel may substitute for many loaded freight trains of coal, but look at the disaster it creates. The purists may resent the choice of words burning uranium because the mechanism is quite different from ordinary combustion. The burning of fossil fuels such as coal results from the carbon combining with the oxygen to form carbon dioxide with the release of heat. The burning of uranium results from the uranium combining with an atomic particle called a neutron and subsequently burning into lighter elements such as strontium and cesium with the release of a large amount of heat. The process is called nuclear fission rather than burning. The age of fission, folks. Strontium and cesium happened to kill human beings and all life on this fucking planet. And they knew it. So I'm at 249. Many lighter elements that are formed following the fission of uranium are radioactive. They are the same radioactive elements that cause so much concern over the fallout from the atmospheric testing of nuclear weapons. It is these deadly radioactive substances that represent the unique and serious hazard from nuclear power plants. We shall have much to say about these matters in the subsequent chapters. One may wonder why fission power is being considered at all if it represents a serious hazard. There are two reasons. First, the world's supply of fossil fuels is finite and eventually man will have to find another source of energy. Second, and this seems to have been the compelling reason for the present rash proliferation of nuclear power reactors, the cost of nuclear electrical power was projected to be cheaper than that from conventional plants. The first reason is justifiable, although we shall indicate later is it is not of immediate importance. The second reason and the basis of the rash proliferation was wrong. Nuclear power is more expensive. Although there are a variety of nuclear reactor designs that are possible and in existence, the major choice of this country have been in favor of the water moderated reactor and the liquid metal fast breeder reactor. And I'm going to end there. We are on page 38. And here we are, just at like five minutes. So uh, hopefully we'll get more retention, and I'm going to put this Creative Commons so people can copy it and mirror it, get information out, use the sound, however you can break it all up. 
Put your courage feet on, you guys. we got to put this information out in the real world. We need the truth. Ciao.